The flight itself was just literally a seat on an airplane. That's it. There's no extra. <laughs> Absolutely no extras. Now, the final question is, would I fly Spirit again? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm super excited to be filming this video. It's going to be a get ready to go on a trip with me. So I am super excited because in less than 24 hours, I am going to be someplace tropical, warm, and I'm super excited. So I thought I'd take you guys through this process of me getting ready to go on this trip. So this was kind of like a last minute thing. Just wanted a little getaway. I'm gonna be gone for about five days and I I'm going to be flying Spirit Airlines. Like if you know about Spirit Airlines, then you know what I'm talking about. If you ever heard of Spirit Airlines, they're like a sort of an economical, I'm being nice by saying that, an economical way of flying. I've never flown Spirit before. This is gonna be my first time. And if you do know about them, they charge an arm and a leg for a carry-on, Never mind a checked bag. So we're definitely not going that route. The plane tickets were super cheap. They're nonstop for like $150 round trip. So cannot beat that deal. But the only catch there is I can only travel with a personal item. So I'm going to be packing all my stuff into a backpack. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm taking and how I pack all my stuff into a backpack. So let's get started. So whenever I'm traveling, I always like to make a checklist, uh, usually like a few days before I travel, just to make sure I keep myself on track and that I complete everything I want to before I actually leave. Um, so the past couple of days, I've been going through my checklist and today is the day before I leave, so I have to finish everything on my checklist. Here is what we are working with. So yeah, we still have quite a few things to do. Um, so let's get to them. All right, so I packed my toiletries and this is the bag I'm bringing for my toiletries. I still have a few more things to put in here, so hopefully it'll all fit. But basically I've got um, perfume, body wash, my contact solution, shampoo. I am wearing braids, which is awesome. And I did film a little bit of the braiding process. I may or may not um, include that in here, but braiding my hair was on my list. And that was actually the first thing I did this past weekend. Today's Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so I have, I don't have to worry about hair products. The only hair product that I'm bringing is this mousse. So I found a travel size mousse from Design Essentials. I also have my face lotion, um, sunscreen, and my razor, floss, toothbrush. I have to put toothpaste in here, makeup wipes, you know, just the necessities. I usually take a bigger toiletry bag, but because I'm so limited in my space, everything had to fit in this little bag. All right, and I don't plan to wear a lot of makeup, maybe just a little bit here and there when we go out at night. So I put everything in here, and I'm not gonna go through everything that I have in here, but basically I just have like a powder duo from Wet n Wild, and this has both a concealer and a contour. And basically that's all I use. Um, I'll put my concealer on. Sometimes I don't even put like a cream bronzer. I'll just use that. But I have other things in here, obviously. I have lip products, um, again, my concealer. I have my mascara, I have blush, um, eyebrow pencil, but yeah, you know, just the basic stuff to do a basic look. I don't even think I have foundation in here. Oh yeah, I do. I have a powder foundation, but I probably won't be wearing any foundation. I haven't really been wearing foundation. I've just been really focusing on taking care of my skin. Um, but yeah, so that, I'm also taking this as my makeup bag. All right, believe it or not, I packed all my clothes into this and this. These two packing cubes have all my outfits, all my bathing suits, cover-ups, 
it's all here so wish me luck that this is all i'm gonna need um but yeah so those are the majority of the things that i'm gonna be bringing some accessories here and there as well as shoes so i'm actually taking my son's backpack because it's like the perfect dimension uh for what they consider a personal item um so he's actually at school right now <laughs> but when he gets home I'm going to show you guys how I pack the bag. Even though it's a backpack, it has a lot of different compartments. Uh, so that's really good. I'm just going to try really hard not to overstuff it in case they make me like measure it. Um, but for the most part, I think we'll be good. And I'm also going to show you guys what I'm wearing on the plane. I'm going to be wearing jeans. I really don't like to wear jeans on the plane, um, but these jeans are very comfortable and the reason why I'm wearing them is because they are my sort of biggest and bulkiest item and I'd rather put it on my body than pack it. So yeah, I'll be wearing my jeans as sort of my, my airport outfit and, and I also have an outfit that I can wear there. I'm also taking my sneakers, but I'm going to wear them on the plane. I'm not packing them either. Again, of all my shoes, that's one of the bulkiest items that I have. So that will be on my body and not in my bag. <laughs> Alright y'all, full disclaimer, it's actually months later that I'm coming back and giving you guys the ending to this video. So I took that trip in um, November and it's actually February now, but I'm kind of glad that I did wait until after the trip to close the video because then I can give you guys sort of my experience and my thoughts on flying spirit for the first time all right so my first concern obviously was the luggage and making sure that the backpack that i was bringing was not going to be too big i was concerned that i overstuffed it and that they would make me like stick it inside that measuring compartment thing and it would not fit the whole point of taking this flight was to take advantage of the cheap prices to fly to puerto rico um so getting into you know the actual day and like getting on the airplane and flying the airplane and all that to be honest it was actually pretty smooth um no one really checked our bag or anybody's bag i saw a lot of people with a huge bags i was concerned about taking my weekender bag because it was so big but i definitely saw people with that type of bag so you know i definitely could have brought that bag and been just fine no one was measuring no one was checking um, so as far as the luggage goes it was pretty smooth no issues there the flight itself was just literally a seat on an airplane that's it it was no comfort there was no i don't even know if the seat reclined um there was no tvs there was no snacks there was barely any room for your feet, never mind, to put a bag underneath the seat. I mean, the flight was okay, was fine, but just think about there's no extra. <laughs> Absolutely no extras. No drinks, no snacks. Again, you could purchase, but nothing complimentary. I've flown other airlines such as JetBlue, Delta, even American Airlines, and they all offer at least some water. I mean, 
uh, and they did not offer anything they did come around asking if you wanted to purchase anything I didn't because I just kind of pre-planned I brought my water bottle um, that I filled after crossing TSA and then I purchased some snacks however the flight was only like three hours so um, we really didn't need snacks I did we did have breakfast prior to getting on the plane so you know we had already eaten so we could you know easily take that three hour flight without any food but I just needed to make sure I had my water which I did and it was all good now the final question is would I fly spirit again actually not only would I fly spirit again but I am <laughs> going to be flying spirit again i'm actually taking another trip very very soon if not i probably have already taken that trip by the time you guys see this video yeah so i am going to be flying spirit again because my experience was not bad because it wasn't as uptight as i thought it would be i'm okay with flying spirit as long as i'm taking like four days or less trip where I can definitely pack all of my outfits and everything I need into sort of a tiny 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 carry-on but yeah so I'm going to be getting ready for that trip very soon I'm going to try and film it for you guys I might even let you guys in on the reason why I'm actually taking this trip and um, I might 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 I don't know yet we'll see um, turn it into a series and um, take you guys along on this journey this new project that I'm going to be taking on um, but yeah so first it starts with this trip I'm definitely gonna do my best to film as much of it as I can the packing process while I'm there everything I'm doing and then depending on if I decide to share this side project with you guys I will of course post it but um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and sorry it took so long to actually put out here but it's out and I hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know down in the comments if you've ever flown Spirit Airlines or any type of flight similar to this where they're very 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 restrictive on what you can do but yet the prices are unbeatable so yeah um leave me that comment down below like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe uh for more videos so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye the Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you're trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now, right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we can run up